No! 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 I don't think nobody really paid attention to the undercar. Not that it was bad. It was just it wasn't any names on there for me to even oh, give a what, shit about. What type of wait? What type of startup is that? No intro, no nothing. Nah, I was just talking. That wasn't even the intro, but it's gonna be the intro it was now. Just like flow, like you know what I'm saying. Like we just flow into it. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a fucking intro. Bro. Have you figured out an intro yet? Absolutely not. So let's get right to it because it wasn't really much. Uh, Sean Porter, man, and Terrence Crawford. Great, great fight. Elite yes. going against Elite. I love the fight, man. I thought Sean Porter brought everything. He actually surprised me on how well he was doing. And here in the post-fight press conference with Terrence Crawford, he said that he was giving him confidence. He, you know, he was giving him that. So I'm wondering if a lot of Porter's early success was just a play so he could be more aggressive and um, Crawford could catch him. Either way, it was a great fight. I'm disappointed in the result. I'm disappointed in his father. I mean, yeah. But the fight itself was fucking dope. Uh, I thought it was yeah. a good fight. I thought it was competitive. I'm gonna have to criticize though, Sean. Just, a, just, just a teensy bit, teensy bit. I told you my issue with Sean previously was that sometimes I feel like he doesn't have great accuracy. I feel like his last two fights before this fight. He, it looked like he was improving on his accuracy. Maybe the last three fights. When he got in there with Terrence, again, it kind of looked like his accuracy was a little off. Like he always shot some of his shots, uh, smothered some of his work. And he did some good work, but I felt like it was kind of like the old Sean where he smothered some of his work. Now, I don't know if that's just old Sean or Terrence Crawford caused that to happen. Mm. Either way, I thought it was an entertaining fight. I thought Sean could have did a little better if he would have landed more shots with better accuracy. But it, all in all, it was a good fight. He also is known for throwing a lot of the looping shots. Uh, he actually landed a few, but Crawford took them well, man. Right. He landed a couple shots, and they were a little, you know, eye-jarring, but... They didn't hurt Crawford at, at all. At least he he let it, you know he didn't show any effects of the punches. How did you feel about the stoppage? Cause that, that's what I want to get into. I didn't agree with the stoppage, man. I didn't agree. You know, I'm always an advocate of let a fighter prove that he can be great. Give him a chance to be great. Let a great moment blossom. Mm -hmm. And Kenny Porter did not allow that to even happen. You know, I understand that, you know, Sean went down twice. Uh, the second time getting up, he was a little off balance. But Sean is a warrior. Yeah. He's a warrior. Give him a chance to be great. The fight wasn't completely out of reach. I was going to say, what was your scorecard by that point, the 10th round? Not not the actual 10th round, but going into the 10th round, what did you have a score? Going into the 10th round, I had Crawford up by one. Up by one, okay. I had it the opposite. I had Porter up by one. Right. Um, five rounds, the the four Porter. And like like we just said, it was a close fight. So yeah. that stoppage to me was it, it was right. unnecessary. And I was disappointed in the stoppage because it was only two rounds left. He took the L. He got hurt. He still had his bearings about him, you know. He he was he was punching the ground. He should have been punching Crawford, but he was punching the ground. He got up. He didn't look woozy. It was still at least in my card. It was only a two 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 point difference. It was still two more rounds left. Right.
Crawford had a 14 to 10 connect advantage. 12 seconds later. Even past that, the the interview afterward, I was really disappointed, man. Like he, I felt like he threw Sean underneath the bus. Like you know, there's some things that you say on you camera, think? yeah, <laughs> and some things you say off camera. And what are your thoughts on your father stopping the fight? Uh, no, he's he's doing what he what he uh, what he, he knows he needs to do. Uh, I didn't expect that. Um, somebody, we never had a conversation about that. We just kind of always had a uh, unspoken understanding that if he sees what he needs to see, he's going to do what he did. I, I didn't expect it. Did you feel that you were in a condition to continue in this fight? Uh, yes. Uh, the, the punch that he was catching me too clean, and I think that that's what my dad saw. I saw it. I felt it. And, you know, uh, I just think that uh, my, my timing was a little out. That man, I think, hit me more than anybody I've been in the ring with. Uh, he was on point. A through Z. Now, Kenny, I know that's the toughest decision for a father or a trainer to make. What prompted you to stop the fight tonight? Honestly, it's preparation. He didn't prepare like I wanted him to prepare. So that's just, you know, that just makes me say, you know what? I don't want him in that situation. He fought a great fighter. The guy's super sharp, and he's at a deficit. It's like fighting this guy blindfolded. And you're in a deficit like that. So I wasn't going to let that happen. You know, this is where we at with it. And I had to make that decision. It's an easy decision for me. It's easy. He lives right across the street from me. I'll be having breakfast with him in the morning. It's easy. You know, shout out to Sean, like, on some real shit. Shout out to Sean because he has to be one of the, the classiest people in boxing. He still was yeah. extremely respectful, extremely humble. And... If if he has an issue with his dad, you can't tell because he didn't show it. He he did what you were supposed to do. Yeah. You talk about yeah. it off camera. In the interview, he was like, uh, Kenny, he was like, yeah, you know, that's my son and he may not agree or something of that nature. And then was like, we gonna have breakfast together. And I was trying to look at Sean Porter to be like, nah, no, we not, Pop. You ain't invited after that shit. <laughs> Fuck you mean we having breakfast together? No, I'm now, not. Like you said, give him a chance to be great. Maybe he gets buzzed again. Then you get up and throw in the flag. He got up. He was fine. You want to continue? He said, yes. Let him go, man. And, and, and if you see him taking more punishment, that's when you step up. But I, I thought it was premature. And like you said, man, that interview was awful, man. I couldn't secure me the Spence fight when I was with him. So how are you going to secure me the Spence fight when I'm not with him? If Terrence Crawford as a free agent can make that fight with Errol Spence happen within the next, I want to say, six months to a year, you know how bad that makes Bob Arum look? 
I'm pretty sure. He goes after people like a pit fucking bull. There should be no problems promoting a guy that's giving, he's number one, the best in the sport. He's going after it, giving you, giving all the fans what they want right. and telling you, I want these fights to be made. There's no way that they should be having trouble promoting that fight. No way. I don't buy that one bit. All right. Well, now that we, we spoke on all that, I got to ask you, what do you feel like is next for Terrence? Do you want to see him in, with the, with Earl right now, right away? Or do you feel like he gets a light touch? And then Earl, what do you what do you want to see next from him? He's too good. He really is. If they were to match up, how do you think that matchup goes? Because, you know, you got Earl who throws a lot of punches, but he does get hit with some shots. But Earl also can box if he chose a box. And then you have somebody who's more of a pure boxer. But then if he wants to make it a dog fight, he could make it yeah. a dog fight. It, I'm more of a, 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 first of all, I like both guys. Right. I lean more towards being a fan of Errol Spence. Mm. Also think Errol Spence is bigger than him. So I'm going to lean towards Errol. The only thing that I'm saying is um in this sport you got to be careful with saying someone's scared because these are guys that get in the ring and punch people in the face for a living so i don't think when i look at the video i don't think crawford or spence are scared of each other certain fighters know this guy's better than me and i'm not going to get in the ring so it's not that i'm scared i know i can't beat this guy and i'm not sure if Errol Spence feels that way, but if this fight doesn't happen, I'm attending towards leaning that he feels that Crawford could beat him. You know, Sean mm -hmm. retired. It, it, it's a little, little sad to see him go that way. You know, like you know what, though, I'm okay with it, man. And I, I also want to give him a salute, man. Congratulations on your career, man. You gave us fight fans. Uh, a lot of entertaining bouts, man. So salute to you. If you choose to have one more bout to like uh, end your career on a better note than you want, I understand. But for me, you know, I, I respect what he did and I, I kind of don't need to see him in another fight. You know what I mean? He, he fought the absolute best fighter in the world right now. Anything less would be beneath him, you know? So, you know. Shout out to you, brother, man. Go ride off in the sunset and um do your interviews on um, Showtime. Yeah. Well said. Well said. Thank you, brother. It, was, yeah. it wasn't practice, but I'll take it. 